On today's show, where can you find some of those great 3D models? Hey, welcome to the first layer. I'm so glad you're here with me. I hope you're all doing very well. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here three times a week on the first layer. And we, on this show, we explore the world of 3D printing. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to dive in and have a look around the web to see where you can find models to print on your 3D printer. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, where can I find models? Are they free? Can I sell them? We're going to try and take some of that mystery out of that today for you. Um, there are a lot to get through. I've got about 15 of my favorites that I go to kind of on a regular basis to find cool models. Um, and we're going to start right now with the first one. And that's Thingiverse. Now, Thingiverse is probably one of the biggest and most popular databases. It has everything uh, that active member, it has an active member community behind it. It offers free to use STLs only. You don't even need to open an account in order to download a 3D model from their site. Sometimes the database can seem slightly less organized and there are cleaner and simple, simpler designs of sites like pin shape and cults, which we're going to get into. But over here on Thingiverse, which is probably the first place I go when I'm looking for something, you can go to a dashboard, you can explore. There are things to explore, groups, uh, collections, categories. Usually if I'm doing a brand new search, I'll go to the categories. You can see here they've got it broken up. Uh, they could do more categories, but I think this is kind of a community-run um, website, so it does have uh, its ups and downs. But as you can see here, we've got 3D printing, art, fashion, gadgets, hobbies, household learning, models, tools, and toys and games. And you can just simply click on one of those. Let's go into models, for instance. We'll just have a quick look at the models. And here you can see you've got Kylo Ren's helmet, you've got some planes. Um, there's all kinds of other little models that you can download. Uh, so it is a really big repository of 3D models. And it's probably, like I said, the first place that I go when I'm looking for a 3D model. Now next on our list is the second place I go, which is MyMiniFactory.com. And we're just going to head in there now. So myminifactory.com, I just want to look at my notes here. Uh, myminifactory.com is probably one of the second places that I go. Uh, I'm just going to block that for now. So over here on My Mini Factory, there, it has a huge community. Um, there are more than 45,000 3D printable objects and 9,000 designers on this site. Over Thingiverse, and you're going to find a lot of crossover between Thingiverse and My Mini Factory. Um, there is a number of models on this site that are great for, for you to download. You can get into different categories. Again, you can meet some of the community members which is always really cool. Um, you can explore featured content for Ikea, Angry Birds, all kinds of great stuff. And you'll always see on the front page that there's a featured area. If you're an Angry Birds fan right now, they're featuring some of the Angry Birds models. Um, and they are really uh, an excellent place to go. My mouse seems to be jumping around today. I don't know why. But uh, it really is an excellent place to go to find things to build your printer with to get into different models and again on this site my mini factory some are for sale and some are not for sale just so you know everybody's aware of that and we're all on the same page now what i like about my mini factory.com is that it is a lot more condensed than thingiverse um, again there's a little higher quality of models on there um, again, this is a community-run um, uh, repository 
for models, and uh, I really, really enjoy this one. Um, next is one I've gone to and I've purchased models from in the past. Um, it is called Cults 3D. And Cults 3D, um, I don't put it in my number one spot because it's not one I go to first. Usually, like I said, I go to Thingiverse first. But Cults offers its users the perfect range of uh, 3D models. So, um, from maker-inspired 3D files all the way to professional high-quality designs. Cults checks each 3D design for printability and organizes them into different groups such as fashion, art, jewelry, home architecture, and gadgets. Um, the mix of modern visual interfaces as well as range database and a focus on smart, useful, and beautiful designs makes uh, browsing through their, their website a lot of fun. While many models come for free, others also come at a very affordable price. So, as you can see here, as we scroll down, um, there are a whack of different things that you can do. Collection for the GoPro, IKEA Hacks Collection. Um, here are some of their, their featured designs as well. I have purchased um, designs from here. Actually, this is where I got the Han Solo, which you guys saw me painting on Monday. Um, from this designer, which is Tashi TNE. Uh, great model. He has a number of other models. Go and check out Cults. It is at cults3d.com. All the uh, addresses and all the links to all of the sites that I'm showing you today are going to be up uh, in the description so you'll be able to see all of those as well. Now, the next one I want to go to is Pin Shape. Now, Pin Shape. Um, it's not one that I use regularly, but it still has a great repository of models. Let's take a look at that site. So, over on Pinshape, it offers its visitors the opportunity to browse through a great selection of more than 13,000 models, free and payable uh, STLs. Uh, finding great 3D printable models on the website is child's play. Both the visual representation and logical organization of the website are top notch. So, pin shape, as you can see here, um, you can download some. The Donkey Kong SNES uh, 3D printable model is $16.90, as you can see. Um, you can download other models for free. Usually, ones that are, are designed um, with uh, pay in mind, um, you'll find they're usually at a different color underneath. You can see here the straight downloads are green and the payables are blue. Um, you can find more design. They feature a designer every month. So right now the uh, feature designer is Richard Gain. Uh, and you can see some of his models there uh, underneath. Very, very cool stuff. They have a blog, a forum, there's contests, there's all kinds of great stuff. And you can put your models up on here um, as well as on Cults 3D. Uh, but you can go to both Cults and Pinshape and upload your models and get paid uh, on the back end for when people want to buy your models. And I recommend this to anybody that's designing high quality models uh, and you don't have a way to sell them or you don't have a, an e-commerce on your website. I would head over to, to Pinshape, uh, Cults and maybe MyMiniFactory.com and put up your models there with the price that you're asking uh, for the models. Look at that, my collar is all messed up today. Uh, so those are some great places to check out as well. Uh, moving on, um, we have CG Trader. Now CG Trader is a great repository for models. I love CG Trader and I've bought many models from CG Trader in the past. Another great place to add your models is over here at CG Trader. Um, if I can stop moving my mouse around. There we go. And now, of course, nothing wants to work. Great. So let's filter. You can filter by 3D categories. Very well laid out website. You have aircraft, animals, architecture, exterior, sports, vehicles, watercraft, military, and you can browse them all. 
It's a great site. You can, uh, you can actually log in, become a member, get some perks when you buy models. You can get discounts on other models later on down the line, which is very cool. Um, you can get low, low poly models here as well, as well as high end 3D models. And these have quite a price range. There's a lot of very affordable models on here, um, but there are also some that are very high quality, take a while to print. You want to be a little bit more of an experienced 3D printer um, when you are going uh, to this site. Now, the next one we're going to jump into is 3D Shook. Um, 3D Shook, great little website. Uh, it's somewhat fam similar to Pin Shape and Cults, uh, but designs tend to be more focused on fun 3D prints for hobbyists here. Um, some models are free, but most require uh, a fee. However, 3D Shook does offer designs at a very competitive price. So, not everything is free. You can see just by looking down here a little bit. Um, that there are prices below some of their featured models, $3, $2, $7. So all very affordable models, uh, good quality models as well up on here. So make sure you go and check this one out if you're looking for a higher quality of model uh, for your 3D prints. Um, my pop-up seemed to be coming up for whatever reason. Um, let's just go in and have a look at one of these prints. Let's uh, take this Rebel Girls. So we're going to check it out, and uh, we'll go in there and... So this is Rebel Girl Smiles. I don't know why I'm using my printer, or my mouse so much. So it gives you a quick overview. It's uh, Woman Rebels Resisting Authority and Control. This is a $5 model. Um, there is some information here, how long it takes to print, supports, uh, rafts, number of parts, uh, print quality standard, and you can see this, this particular artist has a lot more as well. So you can, uh, you can print all kinds of them. Make yourself a little collection. Now one of the things I want to talk to you about um, are getting into printing models that you find on places like Thingiverse and, and My Mini Factory and, and some of the others that we've already talked about. If you want to sell those models printed and painted, what you really need to do is first of all take a look at the license agreement that comes with all of the models that you download. Take a look in there, find out what the artist uh, has decided. On Thingiverse, a lot of those models you cannot use for commercial use. Um, really what the artist wants is recognition, so if you are planning on selling some of your 3D prints that you've done, what I would do is get in contact with the artist first, um, and usually all the artists are listed on the sites that have the models with them, so you can send them a message, you can find them through Facebook or, or send them a direct email, and just to ask them, is it okay if I print your 3D model, paint it or finish it or whatever you're going to do with it, and put it up on my website or take it to a convention show um, and sell it at my table or my, or my flea market or whatever. Make sure that you get permission from the artist. If the artist does not want you selling them, it's always a good idea not to. But if you talk to the artist lots of times, what will happen is they'll say, go ahead, sure, uh, just give me some recognition or maybe give me a couple of dollars kickback uh, on the particular model that you're selling. Um, and just because you got permission for one model does not mean you have permission for all of their models. So really get into a, con uh, a conversation with that artist and really get, you know, nail down what you want to do. If you find somebody that you really like, then make sure that you, you know, you talk with them and, and get that that permission to, um, if you're in the, the market, to sell your models. Now, I don't normally sell my models. Um, a lot of times I give them away. Um, but I am going to a show and the models that I'm taking with me 
uh, with the exception of the Han Solo model, um, are all available for uh, purchase um, because in the licensing agreement that I have with those artists, they are allowing me to sell the printed model, not the STL. They are allowing me to sell the printed model, painted and finished the way that I paint and finish. And to me, that, that's great. I've got their permission. I always love to give people recognition when they, um, when they print something or they design something really well and I print it off. I always give them recognition because they are the core of this community. Without 3D designers, we'd have no 3D models to print. We'd all have to learn how to 3D design ourselves. And the problem with 3D designing yourself is not all of us have that talent. Plain and simple. So when we're done printing off the models that come on our SD cards with our 3D printers, um, you know that they're, you're out of models. So you gotta go somewhere to find them. And if you wanna make a little bit of side money off of it, do yourselves a favor, do the artist a favor, contact them and just get permission uh, in an email. That's as good as getting it in writing and make sure that you give that artist the respect that they deserve, either by kicking back a couple of dollars for all the effort or making sure that uh, they are recognized somehow, either with a plaque on the table or whatever. Okay, so let's keep moving. We're gonna go on to GrabCAD next. Now GrabCAD is the largest online community of professional designers, engineers, manufacturers, and students. And uh, I'm just going to look at my notes here real quick. GrabCAD is different than the databases we've already looked at so far. Firstly, GrabCAD provides you with technical engineering and scale models only. Okay. Secondly, it lets you filter its database based on 3D modeling software that the designs were created in. It's the place to be for anyone looking for more than 27,000 technical 3D files. However, take into account that this website is not intended for 3D printing. So the models that you're going to find on GrabCAD aren't necessarily great for 3D printing, um, although a lot of models can be printed off of this website. Um, they are designed more for the professional. So you're going to see uh, different CAD sort of drawings. And again, you can convert some of these to STLs, but again, remember that this is really for engineers and it is a little bit of a higher end uh, product, okay? So moving right along, we're gonna go to 3D models for professionals. Now, if you're in the professional market, um, I think TurboSquid is great. Uh, it has a lot of great models behind it. It's the place to be for downloading the most stunning 3D designs. Uh, it doesn't get any more high-end and professional than this. The problems, uh, the designs are great visually but are not optimized for 3D printing, so bear that in mind. Um, there is also a no filtering option for finding 3D printable models. Furthermore, all the models on TurboSquid are premium payable files. Quality comes at a price. And you can see here that with TurboSquid, again, it's not wanting to... There's stuff for cars, there's characters, there's animals, vehicles, architecture, furniture, uh, anatomy, landscapes, technology. So there's all kinds of great stuff here. And let's go into rocks. Why not? So you can see here that these are at a premium price. We're seeing 149, 160, 599, um, 149. And these are all the types of model $79 that you can use in three-dimensional design. Like if you're doing some sort of animation or you're doing CG for a, a film, um, you can go here and find textures and models and things like that that you could put into your 3D design. So moving right along, we are going to move to the next one, which is 3D export. 
Now, 3D export is somewhat similar to TurboSquid. This is also a database that focuses on visual aspects and offers amazing premium 3D models. In addition to this, 3D export offers its users a filter for finding 3D printable models only. So, again, these are all premium paid models. So if you want to go to 3D models, you can go into there and, and uh, we just clicked on that. Let's see if it takes us in there. I've got a lot of windows open on this PC today. So $20, $65, and again, these are 3D models. These are not 3D printable models. You're gonna have to go into their 3D printable model category right here where it says buy 3D printable models. Now these models should all be able to be printed on your 3D printers. Um, there's some stunning models in here. They range in price $10, $70, um, $5. You know, there's some really affordable stuff in here. And I would recommend this site to anybody that wants quality models. Again, buying the STL does not mean that you own it. So next we're going to go to 3D Warehouse. Now 3D Warehouse um, is a collection of models that are used uh, simply with um, SketchUp. Now this was developed uh, by SketchUp. Um, whether you're looking for architectural product designs or scale models, 3D Warehouse offers anything that was created with a popular 3D modeling software, SketchUp. Luckily, they also let you filter their database for 3D printable models uh, by selecting only show printable models in their advanced search function. All other models can be made printable thanks to connection with the 3D print cloud. So everything can be made printable here um, for the most part. Uh, if you're into SketchUp, this is a great place to go and find things to put into rooms if you're doing some architecture uh, as well. The next one I want to go to is Gambody. Now, Gambody is a great repository for STLs. Bear in mind that this is a site where you have to pay for models. Now, you can see there's a lot of great models, and these are all based on either movies, uh, pop culture, or video games. So you're gonna find some very high quality models in here. Um, I've bought a few models from this website. You can see they're fairly reasonably priced, 24, 14, 19 dollars. Um, so these are all in US prices, by the way, so don't uh, confuse that um, with uh, the pricing in your local market. This is all in American pricing, but there's some great models here. If you're into Batman, if you're into um, Godzilla, like there's a great Godzilla one here for $25. Um, now this Godzilla model, these have all been optimized for 3D printing. Um, you can either assembly and static model um, in STL. So we can see all of the different STLs that go along with this model. They also have a great deal of pictures here. So if we scroll through, we can see that this can be done both on SLA and FDM printers. Um, it is 408 millimeters tall, or 40.8 centimeters, 16 inches. So, I mean, that is a pretty big model to be putting on your 3D printer. Um, that's where a, a CR10 comes in real handy. So I love Gambody for a lot of what they have. I think that they have an amazing collection of models. Again, these, these models have a licensing agreement along with them. Don't go and buy the STL and say, okay, it's mine. Because although you may own the use of that STL, you don't own the right to sell it. And it's the same thing like copywriting music or, or movies. If you buy a movie on DVD or buy a, a CD of, of your favorite artist uh, from Walmart or wherever, that does not give you the right to go and copy that CD or DVD and then go and distribute it uh, either for sale or, 
or on a uh, public share website. All of that comes with agreements. You're under the understanding that that's for you and for you only and to watch in the privacy of your home. You're not going to take that movie out to, a, to a, an event and play it on a big screen and charge people to see that movie um, because that is not what the license agreement is, is for when you buy that type of media. Same thing goes for STLs. When you buy an STL, you Yes, you own that STL for your own private use, not for resale. Again, unless you've, it's in the, the uh, license agreement, and I know I'm harping on this a lot, but it is a big thing in the 3D printing community right now. All right, the next one that I have is not so much a repository um, of 3D models as much as it is a search engine. If you are looking for any kind of model, this is the place to go. It's called Yegi. And Yegi has all kinds of different categories. You can see it searches over a million and a half models that are spread across the web on different sites. This will take you to some that are paid, some that are free, some that are linked to Thingiverse, some that are linked to some of the other uh, pages that we've talked about today. Um, there's that baby Groot pot that uh, we've seen many times in the past. And again, let's just look at that one right now. We'll just go into that. And of course, where is it taking us? Unfortunately, the creation you're looking for is gone. So that's the other thing you have to think about when it comes to Yegi, is that not all of the models that you're going to find uh, on Yegi are still available. Some may have been taken down. So make sure that you go and check that out. But Yegi's a great place if you just want to do a general search on the type of model that you're looking for. Now, I want to, in the next couple, uh, or next three, I want to talk about community members that are on our Facebook group and uh, watch the show over on YouTube. And the first one I want to start with is Emilio Vitt from EV Props. Now, Emilio Vitt is a... I'm going to put him as a Class A designer. Uh, he's done some amazing models. I'm printing the base for Dark Side right now, which is one of his models. His models are not free. Um, his models are um, paid for models. You do have to contact him through Facebook. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, just come on over to our Facebook page, um, which is the first layer, and go ahead and just find him in our members and go ahead and give him uh, a little bit of love and, and ask him you know, if he's got X model or what have you. He also has his own Facebook page at EV Props, so go and check that out. A lot of his designs are over there. And you, again, you can just PM him or message him and he will uh, give you a very, very fair price on the STL. Um, looking at some of his designs really quickly, We've got this Superman, which is amazing. His latest model is the Shredder. Very cool. Um, he's done the original Pennywise. There's all kinds of models in his gallery. Um, some of them we can't show on screen, but there are a ton. And I'm going to go in and just show you guys this stuff here real quick. So here we are at uh, uh, EV Props, and it's uh, evprops.com. Uh, again, all these links will be down in the description. There is his Superman. He's got a Supergirl as well. Um, Shredder. He's got the Dark Side. This is the Dark Side model we're working on right now. Um, that's why I'm I'm printing the base. Uh, so that's the one we're working on right now. We've got uh, he's got Pennywise. He just recently did redid his Masters of the Universe. Um, which has done amazingly well. Uh, this is another model that he's done, which is uh, Hellman. Basically, it's Hellboy. Um, but it is, a again, it's a very cool model. So he's got a lot of stuff on his uh, 3D. Just go check out his 3D printing gallery. You'll see a lot of stuff there as well. So go and check out evprops.com. And give Emilio a little bit of love. His sculpting is top-notch. 
and uh, his prices are very, very fair. Next, we want to look at Malik's 3 Design. This is a place I buy a ton of models from. And you will hear me uh, talk about uh, Sergio um, quite a bit. Uh, Sergio is the designer of these models. And he's got a ton of great models. And he seems to put out a brand new model every week. Um, or every couple of weeks. And again, his models are amazing. I have a lot, like I said, Magneto, Spawn, um, and Venom are some of the newest ones I've purchased. And uh, they're, they're well done. They're, they're either in a full pose or they're split up for smaller printers. You can upscale, you can downscale, whatever you need to do. But go and check out this site if you are, are looking. His prices are right around 19 euros, 19, 20 euros. So in Canadian funds, that translates to about 30 bucks. And last but not least, somebody I've discovered recently is Fab365. This is uh, Gu Sang Kwan um, from Korea, from South Korea. And you've seen this robot on the show recently. Um, so I've got a few of his designs as well. Uh, we've got the, the T-Mug. Um, we have the latest one, the Robot B, the folding Robot B which is B9 from Lost in Space. A few people have already printed that. I haven't yet. Um, there's Jetpack. Some of his models are free, some of them aren't. Popular models you're gonna find uh, are right there on the, on the uh, first page as well. So Fab365, go and give uh, Gu Sang Kwan a little bit of love as well. And you know, there's tons of different models that you can go and find and download and there's just an amazing repository of stuff out there for you to print, paint, and display in your home, and have your friends come over. If you're, you know, here's the thing: is if you're a collector of DC, Marvel, movie stuff, you can find a lot of that online and print it yourself. If you can't afford to buy, you know, the sideshow collection stuff or or some of the other more exotic and uh, highly expensive. Uh, pieces that are out there for your collection. This gives you an economical way to 3D print your own, paint them and display them and have a piece that you're proud of uh, from, a very, from very talented designers. I go and check these sites all the time. Like I said, some of them I use more often than, than others, um, but you know they're, they're all great sites to use and it's always a great bunch of people. Um, support the artists. I always recommend people supporting the artists because a lot of work goes into 3D design. I've tried to do it, I'm not great at it, but there are a lot of great artists out there and a lot of times this is how they feed their families. So if you are looking at a model and you're wondering why you couldn't go and get something similar on Thingiverse, it's because this artist has put in the time and the work, not to say that other artists haven't, but they have put in the time and the work and this is their source of income. So please support them. Um, with your dollars and with your patronage of their high quality 3D printable models. With that said, that's all I'm going to say about uh, going and finding stuff, but what I want you to do, if you got something out of today's show, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com or if you'd like to support the show on a regular basis, uh, you can go and check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash the first layer. Um, and those are two ways that you can help support the show or just keep coming back and watching new episodes. We always love that. I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters and my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. Without their uh, generous uh, monthly con contributions and one-time Buy Me A Coffee contributions, because I love coffee, um, we wouldn't be able to do the show. And we want to thank Spool3D.ca, to whom without we wouldn't have this wonderful space to bring you guys the show three times a week. And uh, remember to print it right, print it with spool3d.ca. They've got everything from printers, filaments, and all the accessories that you could possibly want. So check them out today at spool3d.ca. Print it right. All right, with that said, guys, that's it for me. I'm in, when you're seeing this, I'm actually on the road to Penticton. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the show today, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Be well, and always remember to... Make sure you get that first layer down because that first layer is always your foundation to a great print. Until next time.
Have a great weekend.